worrying story from the health sector this evening. The Limpopo Department of Health condemning the assault of a nurse at a clinic earlier this past week. I understand a staff member was attacked by a patient at a health facility just outside Zanin. Let's bring into the conversation Limpopo Health MEC Dr. Popi Ramatuba making time for us this evening. Uh, MEC and doctor, good evening to you. I appreciate uh, your time. Just help me understand what actually happened in Zanin. Uh, help me understand how this all played out. Uh, evening, Gareth, and evening to all your viewers out there. And, uh, thank you for giving us this opportunity. Uh, what transpired is that um, a professional nurse who was on duty was busy consulting a patient uh, while, uh, while they were busy uh, with that, while she was busy with that patient. Uh, another patient, a male patient, just stormed in, opened the door without even uh, waiting to be welcome, and started to demand. The, the demands were simple that it appears as if he went to, uh, he didn't uh, uh, report on duty. He's an employee. He didn't report on duty. He went to a private uh, pharmacist and uh, self-medicate himself. And then apparently the employers probably were looking for a sick note. Then the, he then thought of a Relela clinic. Uh, when he stormed in, he demanded the nurse to, to write a sick note. And she tried to explain to him the processes, but he couldn't wait. And he started physically uh, assaulting her until uh, immediately when the security came in, uh, because she tried to run out of the consulting room. Uh, the security came in and tried to, to rescue her. What is the condition of, of the nurse who was attacked? Are we talking serious injuries? Uh, while this, the, the injuries uh, will not be physically uh, severe, but she was um, injured. And unfortunately, um, this is um, a 17-week pregnant woman. Mm. And we have since admitted her. We are monitoring closely uh, her and, and the baby. And psychologically, she has been uh, more, more traumatized. Uh, but she did su su uh, sustain some uh, minor bruises, and, and I would just uh, summarize them as soft tissue injuries. Uh, but it is really unfortunate that uh, we find ourselves once more back uh, to the same uh, situation. Police were informed, were called uh, by the, because the clinic manager immediately came out. Uh, they called while the security were trying to, to, to attend to the incident. She called the police who did, responded, and our information is that he has been arrested. And um, the, the clinic committee was also informed because I sent the district executive manager to immediately go to the clinic which she did, uh, we indicated that we need the clinic committee, we need the structures within the community to come and assist us because they're the ones that are complaining. When the clinic doesn't operate 24 hours or when the clinics are not functioning well, when we can't recruit and retain nurses, is the very same community mm. uh, that suffers. So until such time, the community takes us also a responsibility to say, they, they, like the chief we, we spoke to, this is their community, this is their clinic, and if this clinic does not function well, it is their subject that continue to suffer. Gareth, just a week ago, a, a clinic which is just in the next uh, village, uh, which we were planning to op open it to, to start working 24 hours on the 1st of May, we just hired them, uh, another new professional nurse uh, who joined the, the team so that we can have adequate staff to cover. Unfortunately, on her way back from home, because she stays in Capricorn District, she had to use, um, uh, she was off duty uh, over the long weekend of, 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 of Easter. When she uh, get into the taxi, when the taxi arrived to a village, she requested to the clinic um, a village. She requested the taxi driver to say, it's dark now, can you please drop me off at the clinic? There was a, another male passenger who says, no, I'm going towards the sides of the clinic. Innocently so, she agrees for him uh, to escort her. Unfortunately, he grabbed her into the near bush, 
where he raped her, assaulted her. This one sustained severe injuries because she, he, she also suffered a fracture. She's still in the hospital. We had to operate on her. So, so this is a clinic, um, and, and the community is expecting us uh, that this clinic on the 1st of May operate 24 hours. And I'm, I'm, I must be honest, it's not going to work 24 hours because when this nurse recover, I will never take her to that village again. I will have to, to, to deploy her or, or allocate her another clinic in another village. So hence I'm saying we need everybody else to assist us uh, in terms of fighting the crime that is targeted on the healthcare workers because it's the same community mm. that is going to suffer when we don't provide these services. What do we do about trying to improve healthcare security apart from asking communities, MEC, and I'm sure many members of the community don't want to have their clinics affected by this, but uh, community members could be uh, fearful of coming forward with information as well beyond community members getting involved. Uh, are you able to get more private security? Do you have budget for that? Can you get more policing in the area? But it seems to be two or three villages that are a bit of a hot spot right now. So apart from community members, what can police do? What can private security do? You know, if you look at these two incidents, you will see that there was nothing much more than what the department has done that they could do. Firstly, we do have private security. That's why uh, the security was called and came and assist um, at this current uh, case at Ralela Clinic. We have changed the, the even Ralela Clinic. It's one of the new clinic that benefited from the Palisade fence. It's one of the clinics that has got uh, the best infrastructure. If you look at it, there we change even the, the upgrade their security fences. We have put security and guards on the on the on the areas for sense in your entry and also as you enter the clinic but however we, it's impossible to say uh, when a nurse is consulting a patient we will put a police yeah, or, yeah, or a, a security guard because the very same community needs privates and it's only a healthcare worker or healthcare professionals who can listen to your stories when you are consulting you wouldn't want a situation where in tomorrow the whole community knows about your condition. Mm. So, so that is why we're saying sometimes it becomes difficult. We no longer, we don't know what else to do. This particular the, uh, case that happened last week, it's it's again a professional nurse who uses public transport. And, and I think uh, the taxi driver also, even if I do not want to blame them, had they really thought this thug would do uh, what he has done, probably maybe a, a taxi uh, industry, which we are also engaging them. When you see a professional nurse saying, I don't know this uh, a, a community, I've just started uh, working in this area. Can you please drop me? The reason why I arrived late is because I'm from far. And where I'm coming from, it's another village where we struggle from getting public transport. You've got to change different taxis until you reach there. So you could see, that's why I'm saying, on these two cases, I want to throw it back to the community. Mm. In other areas, yes, we can say, uh, why can't uh, police do much? Why can't security do much? But here, we're dealing with the community because this rapist, it's a, it's a son of somebody. It's a, it's a boyfriend of somebody. It's, it's, your, it's your nephew. You know. So, so you need to come and assist. This very same a patient who assaulted a nurse, it's a husband of somebody. And, and you hear the family members defending, becoming defensive to this particular after the act that he has done. So, so they are the very same family members, forgetting that when this clinic closed, they are the ones who are going to really suffer and feel the pain. Clinics don't belong to the president or premier or minister. Clinic belongs to the community. And that's the problem is when you've got community. situations like this, MEC, you've got community members not uh, coming forward with information. Eventually, you and I will be sitting here talking about two clinics in Limpopo that have closed down because their staff are getting attacked if we don't get on top of this. MEC, thank you very, very much. It sounds like it's just a terrible, terrible situation. You have one man walking and assaulting a nurse on duty. The other, unfortunately, as the MEC quite rightly says, uh, was on her way to a clinic. There's only so much security uh, that can be afforded in the end. And I must be honest, I do agree. Uh, the community does need to come in and try and do something on that. My thanks uh, to the MEC, Dr. Poppy uh, Ramatuba, for joining us uh, this evening. 27